finally. Oh my god. I've been trying to put this microphone in for like... It's like, what, my third time trying to put this microphone in. So guys, I'm making this video for two reasons. Reason number one is I am going to go change my rear tire. As you can see, you can already see these strips of metal through the middle. Just wonderful. And thanks to Friday's ride, this is what happened to my bike. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm taking too much time prepping myself before I go riding. It is more than just hot today. It is scorching heat. It is so hot right now. I, mean, I had never thought I'd complain about bike temperatures. But, you know, I'm actually complaining, which is weird. I've never done that before. But I'm complaining about how hot it is, which is just ridiculous. No, because it is. I mean, today is exceptionally hot. So where has Rodmetch been? Rodmetch has been away, unfortunately, because of excessive workload from university, you know? And there's always just too much work and there's never enough time for you to, you know, do everything all at once. So I'd like to apologize guys that I have been away, but I will make it up to every single one of you. I will, I will. So my topic is, um, I got a question from MotoSlack41. Um, he asked me why I ended up choosing the GSXR like over other motorcycles. Well, the sole reason I did so, I mean, I mean, I've got multiple reasons I actually ended up going with the GSXR like over other motorcycles. Um, but you know, there's an interesting story behind it. I mean, please leave your phone, man. You see, you guys are the ones who kill us. You just hold your phones and and we die. It's not even his phone, it's probably his iPod. I gotta focus, I, I can't be looking at him. So yeah, anyways, um... Oh god, the bike is getting hot, but yeah. Anyways, um, back on topic. So the reason, well, first of all, before actually choosing the GSXR, um, I had... I had two other bikes that were in front of me that were pretty interesting and I had a Yamaha R6 in front of me and I had like a Kawasaki ZSXR. Uh, the R6 was Maserati coming up. It's probably the, the, the weirdest Maserati I've seen. I have never seen a Maserati so silent. It's, it's, it doesn't even have any, I mean, it's, I mean, Maseratis are loud, bro. What's happening to yours? Anyways, no big deal. So, yeah. Uh, so, what happened was, like, I, I saw the, the, I mean, I really wanted the 2011 Kawasaki, the ZSXR. Um, it was, like, a really good bike. Like, the, I knew the owner. Uh, the owner was a really good guy. I mean, I'm sure he took care of the bike. He was the first owner. Um... He had like an, he had an Akrapovich full system. Guys, please, I want to just clear this out of my head or out of the way. Is it Akrapovich or Akrapovic? Because I really don't know and it's confusing me. So yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, it had like an Akrapovich, Akrapovic. I mean, slash Akrapovic. I don't know. You guys will correct me now. Full system. Um, and it had like Xenon headlights. And the bike was literally in really good condition. Um... Unfortunately, uh, it was sold before I could even make my mind up. 
Um, so that got cleared out of the way. And then I had an R6, a Yamaha R6. It was, a, I think it was a 2007 model or 2008 model. Or maybe even 2006, I don't even remember. But the reason I eliminated the R6 out of the way, like, right away was, um... Like, the mileage on it was really high. Like, it had a lot, a lot of kilometers done on it. Uh, and you know how sometimes you just don't feel good about the buyer, or like, sorry, the seller? You just don't feel good about them. The seller probably did not know anything about the motorcycle. He has no clue. Like, I mean, generically, um, if you're a bike owner, like, you're supposed to know some stuff about your motorcycle. And this guy had no clue what he's talking about. He's seriously, like, he did not know anything about his motorcycle. Which just, you know, I, I was just, I was just like, you know, oh man, this is, this is a huge risk. This guy does not know anything about his bike. It's got a lot of mileage on it. Like it's done around like 23,000 kilometers. So I just got that out of the way as well. And the only thing that was right in front of me was the GSX-R600. Now, honestly, guys, I never, ever, 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 ever thought that I would actually be on a GSX-R. Like, that was the last bike I would have chosen myself. Like, if I had the choice, I would have not chosen the GSX-R 600. Um, but you know what happened was, I mean, um, I did a lot of thinking and I did some research and, and you know, and I tried the bike and the bike was in, in pretty good, pretty decent condition as well. Um, it was, its condition was as good as the, um, as good as the, the ZSXR's condition, so I wasn't really worried about going for that bike, uh, which I eventually did, and you know what, I'm not disappointed at all, I mean, the bike's really, really good, and I mean, one of the coming videos that I have planned is actually a review of the GSXR. Uh, I hate these little, <laughs> little bumps. Oh god. Oh my eye, my eye, my eye, my eye itches, my eye itches. Oh god. Oh that feels so good. Oh. Oh my god, yeah. Anyways. So I ended up going with the GSX-R600 and no, I am not disappointed at all. This bike is really good. It's fun. It's fast. But you know, the, the reason I haven't attempted like or haven't thought of doing like a review video or a comparison video is because I have no past experience with other sport bikes like this is my first sport bike the GSX-R600 so my opinion would be kind of biased if I try to talk about what's good and what's not because I kind of am like using this bike you know like i'm using a suzuki and i haven't tried anything else so trying to make a review about them is just going to be biased you know so no i don't want to do any reviews now just until i actually try like other motorcycles so i can share my opinion regarding like other bikes what i can do is i can just you know do another video of, you know, stating my what my thoughts regarding this bike. That's all I can do, but I can't do anything else. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, and probably, you know, that's the reason I actually went with the GSX-R. I mean, I really did a lot of thinking. I did a lot of praying. I mean, I prayed that I chose a good bike. And, I mean, I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Thank God, I mean... Everything's okay, the bike's good, thank God, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I was a bit worried at first, like after, I, you know, this is the mistake I did, and I hope you guys don't fall into that mistake. The mistake I did was I did not take really a really close look at the bike. So only after I actually ended up buying the bike, I realized that there were a few there was a few like just, just a little bit of cosmetic cosmetic damage here and there um, which probably gives you the first intuition that this bike's been wrecked um, but thank god um, when I took the bike to, to the Suzuki showroom to the, to the garage um, they told me that the bike is in good condition um, internally it's in good condition the engine's in good condition but unfortunately I mean yeah it's been dropped before I think I suppose but other than that like engine wise 
the bike is in good condition. So thank God for that. Oh boy. Anyways guys, so that's that with this topic and I can't see in front of me which is something I really hate. Like I, I want to see what's going on in front of me, so yeah. Yeah, that's that guys and I'll see you guys on a later vlog.